perhaps a quarter of people who are experiencing cold-like symptoms at the moment actually have an infection, probably with the Omicron variant. The UK is in the midst of another wave of coronavirus, driven by the more infectious Omicron variant. The strain is now spreading at pace, but its symptoms for many seem similar to other seasonal illnesses. So how can you tell the difference? Yeah, so so this time of year, we're, we always face respiratory virus infections. They're predominantly sort of common cold type viruses, so-called rhinoviruses. Some of them are actually types of coronaviruses that we live with all the time. We've got flu. Youngsters can suffer from another respiratory infection called respiratory syncytial virus. It's a perfect storm in terms of upper respiratory tract infections in the winter, uh, compounded this year, of course, by the spread of COVID-19. So with all those different pathogens circulating, which of your symptoms might indicate a case of Omicron? That's getting a bit more difficult because actually some of the symptoms with the Omicron variant are very similar to severe cold-like symptoms. But what we're seeing with Omicron is, is, is sneezing, headache, runny nose, sore throat, cough, loss of smell, fever, um, but not so much the very persistent cough um, and the general sort of fatigue that people see with COVID. What happens with COVID often is it's a much... Um, it's a much more immediate thing. You get infected and then you start to get symptoms quite rapidly. Sometimes cold symptoms take a bit longer. But what we're finding with Omicron is that it's actually quite confusing. And there, there are estimates at the moment that perhaps a quarter of people who are experiencing cold-like symptoms at the moment actually have an infection, probably with the Omicron variant. But how can the coronavirus elicit such a varied range of symptoms and severity? A lot of it is to do with how much infection you have. In other words, what is the infected dose? How much virus has gone into your body? How well it replicates in our body? Because a lot of the symptoms are a consequence of the body's response to how much virus is being generated. Of course, what happens when these viruses infect us is they grow in our cells. They make millions and millions and millions of copies of themselves. And then the body responds. And that response is actually what the symptoms are. So coughs and sore throats, headaches, are is essentially an inflammatory response. They're part of the immune response to the virus. And this differs so much from person to person. And, and there's a lot of that is just the natural variation in all of us as individuals. And so even though we can come up with a set of symptoms, in a particular individual at one particular time, they may have no symptoms at all, or they may have one or more than one symptom. And it's all to do with the variation in our immune systems. For Omicron, it's particularly complicated because even though this virus can reinfect people or infect people who've been vaccinated, you still have that level of immunity in your body. And that level of immunity generated by previous vaccination will differ from person to person. So it is quite complicated and it's why it's so difficult to come up with a sort of consistent set of, of symptoms. But I think at the moment, I would suggest that anybody with cold-like symptoms uh, would should take a lateral flow test to be absolutely sure that they're not infected uh, and infectious with uh, with Omicron. 